today I'm working on, I got a trencher and I know still just in the midst of many, many projects, but right now I'm running a two inch conduit from the panel that's gonna be going into the house and feeding the house. So that's what I'm working on right now. I've got my uh, line all straightened out and trying to get as straight as possible because wire's expensive. And I went with this bad boy. So I'm gonna go work on getting this pulled up right now. It was at this point I remembered we have tons of rocks. So, looks like we got a ton of rocks, which is totally expected. So, that's so fun. Just kidding. Okay, so update on the trench. We got the trench in. We got it to depth. And, uh, exception of over here a little bit. I had to go on top of the septic pipe that ran across the trench here. So I was able to trench the majority of this with the trencher and then I had to hand dig this section down here. But it was easy because it was all infill gravel that we brought in. So that is awesome. We got the two watt wires run. We got our ground run. So we got three two watt wires. We have the ground at number six. We're looking good. So gonna work on cutting in the panel and um, you know, getting stuff heated up in here but it's looking really good I got a 90 uh, elbow that we're putting in it's gonna enter into this I got a flush mount panel for the back here and uh, it's looking really good so gonna gonna get this in now uh, we'll have power for the panel inside this weekend <laughs> completely derailed because tons of septic repair. All of the septic lines were crushed and it was really starting to make a, a problem. So fixed all of our septic lines. Got it working. This thing I'm doing on electrical is running all the home runs, which is the power to both the plugs and the lights in the different rooms uh, for each of the circuits. And then um, after all the home runs are run, I will work on uh, wiring up all the plugs and switches and light fixtures and we'll make up the panel and uh, get it ready to go. Got our big six hot wire down here that's not hooked up yet so we're not working on a live panel or anything which is good but just um, getting everything run just super bummer that had to fix the septic because that gave us took three days to get it out and fixed and it was disgusting so I'm really glad that's done but now it's time to get to the wiring. We got our little working dog. Hey buddy. Here's Arlo, our new puppers. Hey, look at that. Panel is made up, except for we're gonna put the 230s up here for our air conditioner, which I'm gonna go run. I'm gonna be setting the air conditioner pad right there. Are you excited for air conditioning, Mimi? Yeah. Hotness, mini split air conditioning system. So it looks really good. We are set. Well, I didn't, I needed to double 15 right here, which is why these are not hooked in yet, uh, but we are good to go after that. Here we go, switching it on for the first time. Uneventful. Okay, here we go. And. Boom. Lights that work. Like, light bulbs are different colors, but it works. There's our kitchen can lights. We put nine cans in the kitchen. I'm gonna put six over here. Six over here. We're gonna keep wiring up. All right, so today uh, I started off the morning by wiring up the can lights in the living room. 
I needed more 14 wire, so I went and got some. I also got three quarter pecs, and I ordered the drywall to come in next Wednesday. All right, so we are getting so close to being done with our rough construction. We have almost all downstairs done. We just got the mini split H back up there. Right now I'm putting one up is here as well. So because we are doing mini split as our primary system, um, these have little whips on them that you have to basically have exposed as a connection um, someplace. And so um, like the whip is attached to the mini split itself. So what you have to do is put drywall up, install the mini split system up in place, and then after it's up, then you can paint around it and stuff. It's not the best thing, but I think um, because I want to have the, the whip sticking up into the attic so that if we had to, if we had an issue with pressure or something, we'd be able to access these connection points. So the whips are going to go straight up um, into the attic and then connect into the other things. The exception for that, of course, is the drainage system, which will um, have draining off um, into the other, sorry, out of the building. So, um, yeah, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna be really cool. Let's see, let's see how it goes. I got the mini split out of the system. Each bedroom has its own unit. The living room downstairs has a really big unit. We have a two and a half ton condenser downstairs outside the back. All right, so here's our Blue Ridge mini split condenser. It is three and a half tons, four zone. We got the four zone system on it. So it's 30 amp hookup. It's got a disconnect that's going there. So I'm gonna put the sweeps and the disconnect. Uh, and we went with this because we'd be able to install it ourselves and it was really cost effective. Plus, apparently these are really energy efficient because it cools each room individually. And uh, that's pretty cool. People really seem to like them. There's no ducting. Um, we have a condenser line and a, a refrigerant line with a drain line and then a 14 three wire for each one of these units here. So put in one in each of the bedrooms and then downstairs has its own as well. Um, plus we have the pellet stove for winter. So I think we'll be good in terms of heat. These ones have the heat pump units in them. So um, it's a, called the max heat system. And the guy said, if it's below freezing, you're gonna wanna have the max heat system um, I don't know if it's gonna make a difference, but apparently it's good for heating. I just, it doesn't get that cold up here. It's usually in the 30s in wintertime, um, but not not super, super cold. So all that being said, um, so far it's been a little challenging. The first one was definitely a little challenging. Um, I found that I should wire it before I put it up because it's really annoying to wire when it's down. Um, and also the placement of the, the whip hole is really, really important. So I'm going to get this centered on the door above here in our bedroom. We're putting it above our bathroom door. Our bed's going to be right here. So it's going to be a good um, location for air conditioning. So I'm going to get that. Look at that. We've got our flooring right here stacked up we got our cabinets over there just tons and tons of stuff to install so we are ready to go we need to get get a move on this drywall here now that we have our drywall we have almost everything ordered that we need i need to get some insulation here for this back wall we're going to actually double insulate all of the exterior walls probably overkill but um i think it's going to be good for noise reduction. We live next to a wood mill and there's heavy equipment and stuff. I don't want noise coming through. So I think that's really important and that's why I'm doing that. Um, right now you can hear really well through the walls so, and we don't have drywall up and things. So maybe it's overkill, maybe it's not. We have 5 8 drywall that we're putting up everywhere. And we just have a lot of like tiny projects to finish here um, before we get ready for drywall. So, you know, just small things like putting in um, like the vent hood thing, uh, plug that we need to know what the vent looked like, where to put it. So we've got that up. Um, got to put some more lights up. Uh, got to put the chandelier up for over the, um, over the 
finished the dining room table, I guess. Um, and just little things like that. Finished the some a little bit of venting, uh, just odds and ends. Probably like two or three more days of just kind of finishing up our rough stuff, getting everything in. We have our mini splits in, and we have our lines run. We don't have it hooked up. We actually have to call a technician to um, do refrigerant inside of it, and then do vacuum testing, pressure testing, things like that. But uh, other than that, pretty much good to go and pretty much ready to start drywalling. So very exciting. Um, our water lines are doing great. Our PEX manifold is doing awesome, which is great. So just um, really finishing it up and getting everything done. I think I might either go room by room uh, and just tidy everything up because I've got kind of at the point where it's just so much stuff, so much so many things to do it's so overwhelming that like my brain keeps going from thing to thing and oh i gotta do this and i gotta do this and i gotta do this and that's not kind of where i want to be so gotta just focus go room to room i think that's gonna be the way to do it so i'm gonna get get on it right now i'm gonna finish the lights over our dining room area so we actually don't know where we're putting our dining room table so what i'm gonna do is just loop up a wire put it up there in the vicinity, put a bunch of extra so that we can cut a hole and pull it down through. That's what we did here, we have pendants. We're not sure which kind of uh, pendant light fixtures we're gonna get yet. And so just left it looped up there where it's gonna be over the island, measured out. I did find, so this range said that it was a 30 amp, it came with a 50 amp plug and turns out that we need a 50 amp. So luckily our panel is right here and our oven's right there. I put the panel next to the oven on purpose. I put it in a place that we could do a straight run over to the water heater, close to the um, dryer, because we used an electric dryer, which is 40 amp, so we used 10 wire. Sorry, it's 30 amp plug for the dryer, so we used 10 wire, and then we had 40 amp, so we needed six wire, I'm sorry, eight wire, number eight, for our water heater. Our water heater is massive, and it's really cool. So far, it's working out really, really good. Um, we have our laundry set up inside here which is actively running and um it's the ream performance it can do i think 5.7 gallons at the same time which is the equivalent of like three showers running all at once so that's cool another thing that i did on this is i put plugs here i saw that the only drawback for this system is that people said it leaks out if they're not plugged up we didn't have any leaks, but I didn't want to give it any chances for the systems that have been turned off. Everything that's been turned on, um, no leaks at all. But, well, the, when I first turned it on, we had leaks here because these are um, have gaskets inside, so you have to line it up really, really good before you tighten it. And so that's the only thing that I think is kind of, you know, unique to that. So you got to line it up really good, push it all the way in, and then screw it down and, and tighten it down well. Don't use any thread sealant or anything like that. But, um, you know, beyond that, these these things were specialty, which was kind of weird. Um, it's a one inch down to a, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a one inch down to a three quarter um, fitting. And it's not a normal FNPT thread. It's like a hose thread. So if you get a manifold make sure you order these things too with it you need three of them um and it's three quarters just to let you know <laughs> so those are kind of unique and it was annoying because i had to wait five days to get it and i i thought that my um you know normal fitting my one inch fnpc would fit and it did not so just a little word of um warning for that but other than that it's really good and uh beyond that just tiny bits there's like five things left to do right now no, I said that in the last video. There was more than I remembered. But every single piece of electrical is done, completely done, which is exciting. Uh, just got to put the mini split um, utilities outside. Get this drain pipe done, cut in the vent for the range. I think that's it. It's pretty dang exciting. This little detail stuff just takes so long. You got to make sure that everything is just right so that's what's up i'm trying to see if there's anything else just the drain pipe oh the um vents for the bathrooms need the vent tube going in the attic i think that's
that's it. So pretty exciting.